trading gold. These are the three most important tips that will definitely help you become a better trader. These tips can benefit new and experienced traders and are easy to understand. But make sure you watched until the end of this video because the last tip is actually a very simple strategy for trading gold that you can start using right away. So let's get started. Number one, if you're trading gold, you have to have to know that gold is priced in US dollars. And gold is priced in US dollars because the US dollar is you know, the number one's most actively traded currency and the world's reserve currency. But what that means for us as traders is that you know, gold oftentimes takes its cue from US dollars and the market's demand for US dollars. So if the US dollar is performing well because the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates or the US economy is doing very well, typically the rise in the US dollar will lead to sell off in gold. But conversely, if we have an environment where the US dollar is selling off, maybe central banks talking about interest rate cuts or the market is worried about the outlook for the US economy, typically that sell off in the US dollar will lead to a rise in gold. Now, of course, it's not 100% of the time because gold sometimes will move on its own devices, but most of the time, this is a relationship that you have to be aware of because what really drives um, you know, the performance of gold and the performance of financial markets in general is, you know, how the U.S. economy is doing, what the central bank is doing with regards to interest rates. So I want you to take a look at the chart that shows the relationship between gold and um, the U.S. dollar. So let's take a look at it now. So right now you're looking at my trading view chart of gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the U.S. dollar. So we've got the dollar index here. And just give me one second to... Um, normalize the chart, make it regular, and set this on the um, left panel. So the orange line is the US dollar, and the um, candlesticks is gold. And you can see, if I turn the um, gold price over to a line chart, you will see very clearly that there's an inverse relationship. What an inverse relationship means is that when the US dollar, which is the orange line, is falling, typically the blue line, which is gold, is rising. And when the US dollar, like you see here, is rallying, you're generally seeing a sell-off in gold. And what's interesting about this relationship is that oftentimes the move in the dollar will happen first and gold will follow. So this is very important as a trader because if you start to see the US dollar moving, like in this case, you're seeing the US dollar rally and gold is rallying, that kind of gives you the clue that maybe we might actually see this gold rally peter out because, you know, on a longer term basis, and we can go to a very, very long term period, um, you can see that there's a very, very strong opposite negative relationship between gold and the US dollar. If you go to the one hour chart, you can also see that there's often a negative relationship where if the US dollar is rallying, you know, it becomes very difficult for gold to sustain its move. It starts to move lower. And you can see this relationship over here, very obvious um, inverse relationship over here as well. Now, as I said, there will be periods where it breaks down here, where you see the US dollar rallying, which is the orange line, and gold is also rallying. But it's very difficult for this move to be sustained, which is why you see that gold kind of the rally petered out on short term basis as well. So the main takeaway from all this is that you want to be aligned with the direction of the US dollar. So if US dollar is rallying, you want to be looking for opportunities to sell gold. And if you have a trading setup that's telling you to buy gold when the US dollar is rallying, maybe you want to you know, skip that signal and you know, wait for another one that's consistent with um, the direction of where the US dollar is moving. Because that is because because even if you're, you may not see gold move right away, like here, um, you see that the US dollar is rallying and gold not falling right away. It will be very difficult for the move in gold to be sustained if the US dollar is moving in a direction that is not supportive of it. So my second trading tip is that gold actually has a very complicated relationship with stocks. Many people seem to think that, you know, when the equity market is crashing, that should be good for gold prices because it means that investors are nervous. And when they're nervous, they flock into the safety of gold. But that's not necessarily true. And I want to show you on the charts um, why that is the case. And you cannot necessarily assume that just because um, stocks are crashing and you think that stocks are going to continue to fall and the recession is coming, gold will do well because that is not what we've seen on a both a long term and short term basis. So let's dive into the charts. 
So in this chart, I've actually replaced um, the US dollar index with E-mini Dow futures. And that's what the orange line is. The blue line is still gold. So as you can see here, there's actually a positive relationship. For the most part, at first glance, it looks like they both move in the same direction. And that what this is telling us is that the orange line, which is E-mini Dow futures, when it's rallying, like over here, you are not necessarily seeing gold prices fall. In fact, in this scenario here, you're actually seeing gold prices rise. And then conversely, here, when we have um, E-mini stock futures fall, what you're seeing is that gold prices are actually falling. So even though, you know, it seems as if investors flock into the safety of gold or gold tends to underperform when stocks are doing well, we don't necessarily see that on the chart. So you can also see this on the one hour chart. The blue line is still gold and the orange line is still E-mini futures. And, you know, the, you can see when stocks, which is the orange line, is falling, gold is actually falling. So. The point I want to make here is that gold and stocks have a complicated relationship. When we have a day where it's like a thousand point drop day in the Dow, there's no question that chances are gold prices will be higher that day. But what it also tells us that that move may not last because that risk aversion, that concern and panic and anxiety in the markets can translate into commodity prices as well. So the relationship that is very reliable is actually the inverse relationship between gold and U.S. yields. So blue line, still gold. Orange line is U.S. yields. So in this chart here, you can see that when um, U.S. yields are falling, gold tends to be rising. When U.S. yields are um, rising, like over here, gold prices tend to be falling. And that relationship actually stands the test of time, even on this day where we have seen the other charts between the dollar as well as um, stocks, kind of um, the relationship break down. You can see that yields are falling this, in this day, 10 year US Treasury yields, and gold prices are actually rising. And even if we zoom out to a longer period of time, you can see if I normalize the um, this to the right hand side, I'm sorry, the left hand side, you can see that the relationship has stood the past of time time. And it's also applicable on a short term basis. This is a one hour chart. Now, remember, blue is gold. Orange is U.S. yields. So here in the very short term, we have U.S. yields suddenly peaking upwards on a one hour chart and gold melting down. And then, you know, during the earlier part, you see that, you know, U.S. yields um, were rising and gold, which is the blue line, was falling. And you can see a very, very strong relationship, uh, an inverse relationship between gold and U.S. yields. So as a trader, the takeaway here is, number one, don't rely too much on the relationship between stocks and gold because it's a complicated relationship but do re rely quite a bit on the relationship between 10-year yields and um, gold. So if you're starting the day, sometimes gold would take some time to move. If you're starting the day and you're seeing that U.S. yields are lower, then you should be looking for opportunities to buy gold. If you're seeing that U.S. yields are higher, you should be looking for opportunities to sell gold because that's th what, what um, is a very, very important and powerful dynamic in the markets. And you should not be fading the move in U.S. Treasury yields. So my last trading tip is actually a very, very simple trading strategy that I hope you will enjoy. This trading strategy will help you identify some big moves um, in gold just as they're happening and hopefully help you ride the move some good for some good um, pippage or pointage. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Taking a look at the charts. So we don't need anything but gold on the chart, but you see that I've added two lines on here. One line, which is the red line, is the 10 simple moving average. And then the second line, which is the blue line, is the 50 simple moving average. And the strategy is so simple. All you want to do is to look for the moving average cross, where we have one moving average either crossing below or above the other moving average. And over here, you can see that we have a moving average cross, and over here we have a moving average cross, where the shorter moving average, the 10 SMA, is basically moving below the longer moving average, which is the um, 50 SMA. And you also see that over here. So how do you trade this? When you see the moving average cross, um, what you wanna do is you want to sell. You want to sell, in this case, gold, with a stop at the um, 50 SMA. And you know, of course, you know, if that stop is too large, you can narrow it a bit. And you basically want to go, you know, you can see that we sold here at one at 1836. 
and you basically want to look at the bottom of the move is 1804 and about you know i would say um a 15 point first target um is a decent first target you probably want to you know milk the rest of it um, based upon a trailing stop for example but a 15 point a, a dollar first target is a pretty good first target here here same story we've got the moving average crossover here and you enter at 1975 and you know gold right is still alive trade down to 1918 definitely would have taken out half of the position um, it hasn't moved to the stop yet here, and by trailing stops, sometimes you can take advantage of a very big move. Here, we also have a moving average cross off of this move here. And now, in this case, the stop is very large. So you need to make sure that um, you you don't make it too large. Maybe just, if this is too large, then maybe you want to just put your stop at the um, 10 SMA. And, you know, $15 first target, obviously, this becomes a much bigger move. And you can trail your stop for the second target based on whatever you want. So you can see here, three for three winning trades in gold. And you can see another setup over here. Let me see if I can draw my arrow. Here we have um, the red line crossing below the blue line. And it does retrace again a bit, but doesn't stop you out. And it becomes a very, very powerful move lower. This one would stop you out um, over here, but that's okay. We have four out of five winning trades on the setup. And if we keep going, here's another winning trade over here. So basically, we've got five out of five winning trades. And that's, sorry, uh, five out of six winning trades. And those are the kind of odds I love. And on the setup, we've got five out of six winning trades. Um, and it's a very simple, easy way to, to, to trade gold. You just got to watch for that moving average cross. When you see it happen, you can be able to capture a very, you know, what will hopefully become a very big trend shift move in gold. Now, some of you may say, that's great, Kathy. I really love the strategy. I really love the odds out of, of five to six winning trades in gold, but you know, this is a daily chart. I really don't, you know, there's, don't see opportunities happening that often. And it's true. So if you are looking for a shorter term strategy to trade gold, let me show you what I use. So for those of you that are looking to trade gold on a shorter term basis, what I use is my zip indicator. This zip indicator is available to all BK traders and it's very simple to use. Basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for the white candle. And when we're looking, we see the white candle, usually that is um, indicative of a, a, a trade in the direction of the background color. So red um, equals sell and green equals buy. So when you have a white candle with a outline that's red, you're looking, that's a signal to sell um, gold. And if you have it with a um, green, which you'll see over here, it's a signal to buy gold. So the way this strategy works and the way the zip indicator works, which I use for gold as well as currencies, is that when you get a candle closing um, uh, white, that's the indicator to sell. With the stop, you know, usually with gold, we have a stop of um, uh, 10 bucks and a first target of five bucks and then you know second target that you can trail so here you can see that we have a sell signal in gold it takes some time it does hit the first target quite quickly that's why i have a short target and it takes the time of it before becoming a much more generous trade here is actually a zip variation because the um color change happens one candle later but that's something else that we can dig into some other time here's another sell signal beautiful zip sell signal beautiful short trade in gold and over here we have another sell signal um, in gold uh, where if you see the white candle close it's a sell signal and that became another beautiful trade to the short side so over here you may wonder what happened over here kathy so over here we have a long signal in gold and that's 1962. Um, it does not stop us out. Um, it just retraces a little bit. And then this also becomes a profitable trade. We do have one legitimate losing trade, which is over here, but we also make money over here. So in this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six trades um, in gold. And in this case, um, it's 1921, and we would not have hit our target yet. So we have six um, completed trades in gold, five of which were um, really decent winners. And that's, once again, the odds I'd like to see. So this is the zip setup and how you can use that for trading gold.
So I just shared with you my top three gold trading tips. All that I ask in return is that you take two minutes of your time and like this video. If you want to stay on top of my future strategies and tips, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to trade with me, there's a special discount link in the description below. And you know, don't miss our next strategy on a hard pip trades. See you next time.